process. I'm still walking in the city. I haven't shopped anything. <laughs> Window shopping only. Continuing walk. My walk, I have to continue. So I have left the shopping mall. Walking. By the, by the shopping mall or a part of the shopping mall or a bit from the from the from the shopping mall I meant so it's quite here less people and quite and it's, it's warm enough today and cool enough a little bit air airy not rainy at all I haven't completed my walk yet. I feel bad why not walking, walking fast and walking enough. So now I have to do my brisk walk maybe before I get home. By the way, I have applied uh, the oil in my hair on my hair the yeah the oil mixture that dr barbara oil advised in uh, in youtube you all know in instagram oil mixed um, I, I made it by myself also the rosemary i didn't buy rosemary rosemary oil but i bought uh, dried rosemary leaves and I mixed it with uh, castor oil and uh, olive oil and let it soak for a, while, for a week or so then I strain it so this is th third time I'm using uh, the oil for hair growth let's see I'm quite lazy it took a long time to begin and continue so today this is third time i hope i can continue at least three months then i'll see the changes i hope i'll see the changes if i cannot see any changes or good changes after three months i'll i will start with another recipe but actually i want to believe and follow dr Barbara Onil's advice and her recipes. Um, I have used her recipes for other parts of the body also with the castor oil. But right now I'm following that one for the hair. Um, and you, you know, we all see so many options and videos, reels through Instagram, YouTube. And we have a Hawaiian food restaurant here. So I want to, I have got other options also. So I want to, curious to change and curious to try the other recipes for hair growth and, um, and hair dyeing also. So there are lots of options, but sometimes there are too many, so you get puzzled also, <laughs> suffocating. Mm. another part of the city. I don't think I have shown you this part before. So it's very really cozy to be here. Yeah. 
Uh, I miss India. And I remember India. Going to the hall and buying aludam. When it's interval, alupuri, jalmuri. Oh, this is, uh, by the way, this is our Swedish uh, loose weight, loose weight uh, goodies, uh, sweets. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze now. Uh, and recently I saw on Instagram, through Instagram, people have shown uh, about these uh, loose weight uh, sweets, Swedish sweets. And it has become very popular in USA. So, uh, and uh, yeah, some youngsters show this way of buying uh, beauties, which is not that common in USA and in Canada, uh, in North America. You know. So it's very common. So thanks to Instagram, and we have uh, marketed our loose weight goodies and the goodies uh, uh, these uh, sweets uh, own factories mm -hmm. they have come on news also I saw on the news mm -hmm. they were thanks to, uh, to these influencers also so they are selling more because of that It's called Salu, Salu Halen in front of this uh, cinema hall. This Sal, Salu Halen is over 100 years, uh, years old. And this is a kind, of, a kind of shopping mall long time ago, uh, before the modern, modern um, shopping malls and shopping centers came. So where you, people can, it's a very small and cozy place where people can go and buy fresh things and meat. We have restaurants, there are small restaurants. And you can buy cheese, meat, vegetables, fruit, not clothes, of course. So, in those days, it's called Saluhal, and still, I think it's closed Saluhalar to such uh, supermarkets or shopping centers, olden style. Uh, one is another part, when one is situated in another part of the city, one is here, and this one is older. People, people consider it's very cozy and old-fashioned to go to this shopping, this kind of shopping mall, Salu Hadam, and buy their meat or cheese and have their lunch there or, uh, or coffee, fika. You everybody know now, by now, fika, what that is? Do you remember? That's fika. <laughs> fika, Swedish fika. to have it uh, out, uh, the outdoor restaurant just during this short season another part of the, another side of the Saluhallen Saluhallen or oh, Saluhallen's restaurants uh, furniture here they have a um, small restaurant which is very known for uh, their uh, lentil soup. Actually, it's, uh, lentil soup is only a dal for us. You know, this Avalon Hotel. And this is one of the very few hotels that have swimming pools on the top. We have few hotels, very few hotels that have swimming pools here in Sweden, and especially in Gothenburg. It's not that common with swimming pools.
uh, it's so pretty, the summer is so short, you have to, it, it's, it's like, you know, you panic uh, to enjoy the daylight and enjoy the sun and enjoy the summer. So it's really pretty in other places in the world. Summer here. Oh, they have a scout. Yeah, that's my tram, you see, number five. I have told you so many times about. They have a the orchestra over there. It's a scout group of, or I don't know, Salvation, Salvation Army or some, something. Uh, I think I'll go towards the avenue. I've shown you Avenue before, but I just feel like walking towards the Avenue before going home. So I'll go until the end of the Avenue. Then I will walk back. Then I will take a tram. You see, today I have a cameraman, the assistant. So it feels quite comfortable to have a, have a cameraman with me. <laughs> I'll get used to have a cameraman. I can take the cameraman all over the world when I, whenever I travel. <laughs> goes through the through the city and this is our sightseeing boat not many tourists here yet usually we have tourists from uh, European countries lots of Germans yeah. nowadays I see and Brits before also nowadays lots of students and uh, other people walking here from other countries Lots of Indians are close and American You can rent small boat and you can drive by yourself or run. You see? And how many people did not understand a single word I just said? Welcome to Pond Valley, the guided tour of Gothenburg. My name is Victor. Give me your guide. Welcome to Pond Valley, the guided tour of Gothenburg. Okay, so long, bye.